Red Bird of Paradise is not only stunning to look at, but it also has a rich history of use in traditional medicine. If you're curious about the diverse uses of plants in a traditional medicine, join me for the next few minutes as I explore the fascinating medicinal uses of Red Bird of Paradise, how to use it, and the precautions. Stay tuned, guys. Red Bird of Paradise is the common name for this plant. It is also commonly referred to as Peacock Flower, Pride of Barbados, Barbados Pride, Barbados Flower Fence, Poinciano, and Dwarf Poinciano, among other common names. Scientifically, it is known as C. salpinia pulcherima, and it's a part of the Fabiaceae plant family. This plant comes in different varieties and it is native to the tropical and subtropical regions of the Americas, which includes Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. In terms of its description, it is a small to medium sized tree that can grow up to 3 to 5 meters tall. It has sharp prickles along its stems and the leaves have many small leaflets that are arranged in pairs along a central axis. Red Bird of Paradise is the national flower of the Caribbean island of Barbados. They resemble a peacock and they are the plant's most distinctive feature. They are large, showy, and come in shades of orange, red, and yellow. The fruit of the plant is a long, slender, flat green pod that contains several small, round seeds. The pods turn brown when they mature and split open to release the seeds. In Jamaica, you will find Red Bird of Paradise growing along roadsides and in other green spaces. It's a plant that enjoys full sun to light shade and it is propagated through several methods including seeds, stem cuttings, and root cuttings. <laughs> In traditional medicine, Red Bird of Paradise has been used to treat digestive problems such as diarrhea, dysentery, and stomach aches. The leaves and flowers of the plant are often boiled to make a tea or decoction that is consumed orally. Persons with severe gastrointestinal disorders, including dysentery or severe diarrhea, are also given the fruit of the plant to eat. A combination of the roots, bark and leaves are boiled into a medicinal tea and given to people as a treatment for things like fever, jaundice, kidney disease and gastrointestinal disorders. Red Bird of Paradise has also been used to treat respiratory issues like asthma, bronchitis, and coughs. The plant's leaves and flowers are boiled to make a tea or decoction which is then consumed orally. An infusion of the flowers is used to relieve chest congestions, reduce or eliminate fever, cure bronchitis, asthma, and malarial fevers. The plant is sometimes used topically to treat skin problems such as eczema, ringworm, and other fungal infections. The plant's leaves are crushed to extract their juice, which is then applied to the affected area. Red Bird of Paradise has also been used to reduce inflammation. The plant's leaves and flowers are boiled to make a tea, which is then consumed orally. Gargling with the tea is said to treat sores in the mouth or throat, 
An infusion of the leaves is used to prevent recurrence like malaria, promote menstrual flow, produce energy, and to purge or cleanse the body, especially by causing evacuation of the bowels. A liquid extracted from the flowers of the plant is often used topically as well as an eye wash or applied to the body as an insecticide. Some references claim that red bird of paradise flowers are poisonous. However, there are people in Central Africa who do eat the seeds, presumably after they boil them in several changes of water. The plant is also known to be toxic at certain doses and it may be dangerous for those who use it in folklore medicine. That's it for now guys. Please remember to do your own research and to speak to your healthcare provider before using this plant.